Hello! So today we're taking a look at the ATR in Microsoft Flight Simulator, an aircraft that has something of a chequered history because lots of people have problems starting the aircraft from cold and dark with the hotel mode. They have problems with the prop brake sticking on and they can't figure out why it's doing it or how to get around it. So I've been doing a bit of a deep dive into the systems of the aeroplane and how they've been implemented by the developers. And I figured out what's going on. So let's go and have a walk through starting the engines up. Now I'm not going to do the full procedure today. I'm just going to look at the essentials to illustrate the problem. Okay, so on the tablet we're going to attach ground power to the aircraft. And then we're going to press Control 6 to go overhead. And we're going to switch on the batteries. So then we go back down into the cockpit and we wait for the systems to boot up. And this typically takes about 20 seconds or so. So we wait for those T signs to disappear on the um, the primary flight displays. So just give it about, it's usually it takes about 20 seconds. So yeah, this has been an ongoing issue with the aircraft ever since it came out. And they've, they've changed the way the startup procedures work for the aircraft over time, which hasn't helped. But yeah, hopefully this is going to be a huge assistance to lots of people. So as soon as these screens come on, there we go, we can go back overhead and we can turn on external power. So we can turn on external power here on the main electric power section and also on the alternating current panel here. So then as soon as you do that, the signs appear on the other screens. So we're going to wait because I think oh, we, oh, we do get an NH over here, but we'll get an NH in front of us when we start the engines if we wait for the other screens to come up. So we get kind of direct a direct view of what's going on without having to crane across the cockpit. So we just wait for the screens to come up and then we'll go and start the engines up. Okay, there we go. So overhead, we're going to turn on the fuel pump for engine number two. We're going to switch the prop brake on on engine number two. So in the real world, you would do this so you can fire the engine up and get the airplane ready while you're still at the stand. Yeah, well, there's crew around the bottom of the aeroplane. So the idea of the prop brake is you haven't got this huge, dangerous thing whizzing around. <laughs> OK, so prop brake is on. We turn the start system to start A and we start engine number two. Then we look down and we see NH for engine number two is coming up. When it gets to 10%, I think it is, we can advance the fuel condition lever for number two. And it will continue on round when it gets past 50% we can advance it to auto. So engine number two essentially is running. Okay, so you could continue on with the rest of your procedure with whatever you're doing at that point. And you would perform pushback within that, yeah? So once you, and to perform pushback, you're going to go and remove the external power. So external power comes off. And then we turn, disconnect ground power from the airplane and you would perform your pushback. Okay, so the airplane is purely using now power generated from this engine, which is running, and you can see some heat pouring out the back of it, which is the telltale. But you can also see we've got problems with hydraulic power now and faults on the AC generators. Okay. They are purely because the engine is not running fast enough to generate the power. So we'll also notice there is a, the ready sign for the prop brake is not illuminated because it doesn't have enough hydraulic pressure to do so. <clears throat> so we're going to pretend we've done the pushback and we're going to turn on engine num pump number one, leave the start system on start A and start engine number one. So you can see the NH is coming up for engine number one and it will come up through 10% and we can advance the fuel condition lever for engine number one. When it comes up through 50%, should be now, we can advance it to auto. And the engine runs up, you know, as per normal. So here's where the fun and game starts. We have no illumination on the prop brake. And the reason for that is because the hydraulic power is not there. 
So, all of the guidance you read about this aircraft will say you come down to the hydraulic, the hydraulic auxiliary pump and you hold it in. And it comes up on its own if you do that in the cockpit. If you use the left mouse button and hold it in, it comes back up on its own. And it doesn't work. And you'll see some people saying, oh, you have to do it two or three times sometimes. So we'll do it a second time. And I can tell you now, it won't work. <laughs> and we can do it a third time. Hold it in. And it still won't work. But remember, we've got low pressure showing on the hydraulic system. So the boost pump, you would think, is going to, you know, make it enough so it's going to work and you hold it in to make it do it and that obviously doesn't work so let's try what if we increase the throttles gently so we get hydraulic pressure and the ready light is illuminated so we come across the, the prop brake we uncage it we switch it off and we recage it and we look outside and it hasn't worked it should have done and it hasn't. So we go and recage it. We pull the throttles back to idle. And we sit here and we wait for the hydraulic pressure to drop. So the warnings will come on and the ready light will extinguish again. There we go. Ready light's gone out. So what's the trick? We need to either single click or double click not hold down. It's kind of a hole in the programming, I guess. So if we do a single click and look up, it works. Yeah? And we'll wait for it to extinguish. We can wait for 15 seconds, I think it is, and or 20 seconds, and that it will lose that pressure from that hit of the auxiliary pump. So we'll just wait for that light to go back out again. We can do exactly the same with a double click. There we go, it's gone out, so it's lost the pressure. So we're now we'll double click. That's two clicks. And we've got it back. And just to prove this is going to work, we'll come over and we'll turn the prop brake off and recage it. And we look outside and the propeller's spinning up. So there you go. That is the problem with the prop brake on the ATR. Using the engines to provide hydraulic pressure won't work. You have to use the aux auxiliary pump and you have to either single or double click it. If you hold the mouse button down on it when you press it, it won't work. And that's the entire problem with the ATR. Okay, hopefully that has solved a lot of problems for you. Um, I'll update my checklist. I'll re-record the full uh, startup video when I get a chance and um, yeah hopefully that's useful to you I'll see you again soon